Hey, uh, Francis, uh, obviously a huge fight here coming up here on Saturday. Um, one of the big things you did uh, in between fights is you moved to Las Vegas and using the Performance Institute. How much of a benefit has that been ahead of this, uh, this fight? It was very beneficial to me because, you know, some big move like this, sometimes you move and then you you need to find gym, all that stuff. And then uh, I didn't do that because the Performance Institute was already there. It was closed. And then he uh, helped me a lot with people in the Performance Institute at, with the, and the, at the USC too, who was really open to help for the for the workout, uh, for, for my move. Yes, yeah, so... Yeah. That was very benefic for me. And what's sort of been the biggest difference from uh, you know living back home and living in America? It's obviously a bit of a culture difference. Uh, the first, first of all, you know, in France, MMA is not uh, recognized. So when uh, in France, we we need some facility like national facility, but we need to uh, act that like a favor to go there one time, you know, one time each month, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, we, we have we have our own, you know, we have our own for fighter, and then you feel very uh, grateful as a fighter. They recognize you and respect you like the fighter. That was something who helped us. I mean, all the UFC fighter, yes, to show that we are athlete. We are not just like a fighter than someone talk. Yes. You mentioned. Are. You mentioned on stage that you want to be known as a smart fighter and that that's what's important. Does it bother you that when people talk about you, they talk about speed and power always? No, nothing bothers me at all. Speed is technique. Yes, speed is to be smart because every, um, every fighter is this, in this division has a power. So to bring something different, something who is very difficult to have is speed. Everyone can go to the gym, work on his power, but everyone can't work on his speed because it's something very technical. Yes, that and then we've been working for that since a uh, couple years ago. Francis, where do you feel your, your advantages lie in the matchup with Alistair? My advantage with the um, uh, matchup with Alistair, uh, first of all, I think I have a good motivation. I have a lot of people behind me. I have a lot of, um, I have my personal goal something that I grew up with. I have my uh, my background, you know, something that I don't want to, to live again. I have my family back home who I want to help. I want, I have people back who, who waiting for me, they rely on me. So I'm re I really feel, at some, at some point I feel like that is an obligation to me to do that more than my goal. So there are many things uh, collect together who push me. And then uh, after that, Yes, I own the power record, and then I've probably the faster uh, one as uh, than Alistair Overeem. And uh, yes, I believe, really believe that I'm the best, and I will prove that I'm the best. You've gone back to Cameroon a couple times after your previous fight, so are you going to go back again after this one? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to make. I've been uh, like 10 months uh, without fight, so I'm looking forward after this. Uh, if uh, this fight, uh, if I, will, I am um, in injury free after this fight, I will just looking forward to the next fight, maybe a couple of weeks or a few more. Do you feel whatever. like Alistair is going to take this fight to the ground at all, uh, just with the fact we haven't seen you tested on the ground? To be honest, whatever I think, that is, that is not a problem for me. That does, doesn't matter for me. I'm ready for whatever he brings to me, and I will take the first opportunity that is, he, he will give me. And do you feel like a win here will get you a title shot next? Because you, you're undefeated. I mean, you've done Obviously, everything you need to do. That, that one will probably give me the title shot. Uh, because uh, I'm the contender number four. Uh, uh, ahead of me, I have uh, Ken Velasquez, Fabricio Verdum, Alistair Overeem. And uh, Fabricio Verdum and uh, Alistair Overeem already fought and lost, and lost against Stipe. Ken is injury, so I'm just the right one. Uh, Basically, after beating Alistair very I'll probably be the contender number one, and that would be uh, legit. Do you think with all that said, because those other contenders have already fought Stipe before, the UFC maybe thinks it's you know in their best interest to have you win this no, fight? No, not just because that, because I deserve it. Uh, I'm contender number four, and I, Alistair contender number one. After beating, what's, what's, what should be my ranking yeah. in your advice? So, take this one. probably the number one, and then I'll get right to to the uh, title shot, it will be my, I'm on a five straight win, so this one will, probably, will be my sixth straight win, so I deserve it. And for someone like yourself, you know, it's been 10 months off, that's almost a quarter of the time you've been fighting professionally. 
how much does a 10 month break allow you to improve? Like, do you consider yourself a significantly different fighter than the one we saw in January? Um, yeah, of course, I'll be different than I was uh, in January, you know. Um, I knew this sport four, four years ago, you know, so I still have a lot to learn. And then every day, every single day, I just keep improve myself, uh, still learn because there are a lot of things to learn. There are a lot of things that I didn't know how to do it or on how to deal with it um, because I was just new in the sport and the sport is very large. So this time, every, every single time helped me to, to, to learn. What did you think of Alistair's last fight against uh, Fabrizio Verdun? Dana White wasn't too impressed with it. What were your thoughts on his performance against Verdun? Uh, that fight, I wasn't as impressive too. And then the, the, it was very close, even the decision. So that, was, that wasn't that was some fight uh, really impressive. Because after, at the end of the fight, um, you just uh, think that we thought that the judge is going to decide because you know really know who win clearly the yes there are no one who really dominate the fight when you talk about how you're still learning and you've learned so much was there a point where you felt you'd learned enough that you were ready for these very very top guys in, in a title shot they had a point on that what that you felt like you'd learned enough that you were ready I learn about anything. Most of people just say uh, you should learn your your uh, your ground game, your wrestle. Uh, you have a good boxing, but I think that's a mistake because even boxing, I keep improving. Even boxing, you keep improving. I you you saw like um, we look look like a fighter like my thousand or Mayweather. There are some fighters who been boxing for 15 and two or 20 years, but they keep training and keep improving. So uh, I don't think I. Uh, there are some specific ones that I have to improve. I have, I have to improve everyone. Knowing that if you win this fight, you might get a title shot. How does that intensify your training process, especially going up against such a legend? Say it again, please. How does that, you know, knowing that you'll probably get a title shot with a win here, how does that change the intensity of your preparation and the process? Uh, the intensity of the um, preparation process wasn't, uh, wasn't changed at all. The thing will change is how to deal with it. You know, uh, it's difficult uh, how to uh, just think about this, uh, this fight, focus about this fight, and then the title, after the other thing after this fight. You know, yes, because just that talk about title shot, train about title shot, that doesn't make sense. That can make you lose your eye, lose your goal, you know, uh, move your eyes to your goal. So I'm focused on this fight right now. That this the. This is my goal, this is my title shot, this is my belt. Every single fight, that is, how, that is how I deal with my fight. Every single fight is the highest one. So I'm focused on that one. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.